Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and first of all, thank you so much for the thousand subscribers and I'm really happy and uh, you know, I celebrated it today so that's that's really cool and today's video is going to be how I got into this program and how I have been selected in the University of Maryland uh, College Park. So let me start off this. So first thing before doing this admission processes, I kind of uh, created my niche. So the niche is horticulture. So I I am from horticulture, but there are so many different fields in here, like flowers, fruits, vegetables, and uh, turf grass, plant pathology, plant breeding. Like there are so many different things here. I have to decide which field I have to go in. So I have decided I wanted to go in turf grass. So when I started uh, looking up for turf grass professors, I think that will really help you because it will actually narrow down the number of professors you are looking for and it will be easy for you to email them and i prefer quality over quantity like it's not about how many or how much uh, amount number of professors that you have emailed but it's it it's all depends on which professor you are actually interested in and if you genuinely apply for it i think you are definitely going to get an email uh, like reply back from them so what i first did is started applying for universities without any like prior knowledge uh, i didn't know that uh, there is a course based and the thesis based i only know that there is a thesis base so i tried to apply for the universities directly after applying for like four universities uh, i thought like i am literally wasting the money i didn't want to waste the money so for that reason i just started emailing the professors with the statement of purpose and uh, cv uh, these are the two things that i uh, attached in the email and started emailing the professors and uh, literally i have emailed like um 500 maybe i have shortlisted all the professors that i wanted to email and have wrote it down in my book every day i used to e uh, email like four to five professors uh, differently because they are so seniors they definitely do know that if we type in one email and forward it to all they definitely know that so i just didn't want that to happen so what i did is uh, i just uh, recreated all the emails rephrased them and just emailed like five to six professors every day and i have done this for like uh seven months uh after seven months i literally gave up and uh, I, like i i'm not going to get an admission in any of these things so even when i in the process of my applications or in the process of my emailing to professors the response rate is kind of like 10 to 20 percent i would say and even in that 20 percent uh most of the professors say that they don't have a funding so uh try applying another year or something like that but i have got interviewed with one professor from the penn state university at that point of time um i applied for phd program but he said because i didn't had any like uh prior turf grass experience he's not uh, willing to take me but he said um I, I know some of the professors who are actually looking for uh, students in the turf grass. I'll definitely forward your name to them or something like that. I thought like, okay, he didn't take me. So I'm not going to get any admission. And I just tried. And suddenly I got an email from the University of Maryland College Park professor saying that uh, I heard that uh, you are actually looking for uh, P like a PhD program. I have one uh, project that I wanted to do so if you are interested we can just have an interview i thought that this is spam email because i didn't really know that professor himself will email us saying that a project is available and he's ready to or willing to take a student then what i did is i checked in the google like is this professor really present in the university and it's there and uh, i replied to him back and we had like a phone interview after phone interview he said that if you can visit our university it would be great and you will be seeing all the faculty and you will be knowing the vibe vibe in here so luckily because at that point of time i'm doing my internship in the us uh, i have a chance to come and visit here after coming here i 
guys i have seen all the facilities like research facility the department and everything and he said like uh, your profile looks good and uh, i'm really interested to take but the thing is uh, you have to go back to india and write your gre and ielts and come back so that i can take you and i thought like okay let me just give me give this a try so i went back to india i have completed my gre and ielts and officially submitted my application uh, through grad school uh, in the university like to the university so there is one twist that uh, happened to me here so everything was looking good and everything was going well suddenly i got an email from the professor saying that he has got a new position in clemson state university so he is going back there then i was like what is going to happen to my admission then he said uh, i'm going to transfer this project to another professor so that he'll be taking care of but i will also look forward to you but i might not be your major professor but i might be one of your advisor or one of your guide member then i was like okay that might sounds good so one day he actually made an arrangement of meeting with the new professor who is actually my current professor and he introduced me to him and And uh, it all went well, but uh, the thing is, the new professor he said that uh, you are not the only applicant that uh, I am looking for. Uh, I have couple of more students who are also applying for this one. You may get or might not get. I don't know. Then I was like, come on, this is going crazy. Then I just uh, did all my stuff and applied, and finally, I have no clue whether I am going to get it or not. Until and unless I got my I twenty saying that you have been given an admission along with assistantship, which is crazy, and also along with free health insurance. I got a letter from the university saying that I have been admitted. The first thing, and the second thing is I have been uh, given a stipend, uh, which is called an assistantship here. And the third thing is the health insurance is free, which is so good because health insurance is really costly in India. And that too, I'm going to get a state health insurance, which is crazy. And the fourth thing is my tuition fees is waived hundred percent. Wow. I really felt so happy for that and uh, I applied for my visa and I got my visa uh, and my visa is approved and I came in here so I finally came in here that was so hell of a ride but it's totally totally worth it after coming here my experience is first class this university is like the best i would say because I got so much of research experience here and this is all my admission process went. I think uh, I have covered all the things that I went through. This is how I got a free admission in the US for horticulture. So my major is in plant science. So because there is a funding issue uh instead of PhD they have offered me a masters which is fine. Uh but the research experience that I'm getting here is incredible i really uh, love my plant job that's what i can say uh, at the end if you like it you can share it with your friends and they might be getting an idea of what step to take at that point of time or at their at their process of admission so this is what i did and one more thing i would like to clarify here is um i haven't consulted any consultancy and i'm wholly and solely the one who has applied for the you individual universities on my own on my own pace so this was one of the question that i got in uh, my instagram post so just uh, making sure that uh, i didn't uh, go for any consultancy hope i answered this question so uh, see you all in the next video until then shravya signing off bye